Well, you guys have seen my Jordan 1 collection, so now it's time for you to see my Jordan 11 collection. And I promise you this video will be a lot shorter. Like a lot. <laughs> closet where we are going over my Jordan collection just a little bit by little bit because we know in the month of October my goal is to not pick up anything which also means that hey you still probably want some sneaker content out of just discussions and you keep you keep saying hey we want to see a whole collection video I'm not quite sure about that yeah that takes a lot of work but at least I can show you some of the retros that I have since you guys know I do love and adore Jordan and you can see I have the Air Jordan. It's kind of like the stacked wings logo, Nike Air hoodie. It's one of my favorites and it's actually a little bit relatively thinner. So hopefully I don't sweat to death in the closet with all of the bright lights on. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already checked out my Air Jordan 1 collection video, I'll probably put that somewhere below or in a card up top. That way you guys can check it out. But I'll try to also do a video for my Jordan 4. So we'll just stay tuned for that. Let's just get started. I don't want to keep you guys too long. My Jordan 11 collection is significantly smaller than my Jordan 1 collection. Just understand that now. When it came to 11s, a lot of times whenever these released, it was more so about me trying to maximize maybe what I was getting for Christmas or around the holiday time. And then also, they just tend to be more expensive, as we know, than the Jordan 1. So... I also want to get a discount now working at Kids Foot Locker, so we can understand why I may not have as many of those as I do of ones or other things in my collection. But let's just go ahead and get started again. It's just my collection. It's what I love. I don't think it's anything insanely fire, okay? But people have been begging to see, so let's just go ahead and show you guys what I have. So we'll start with the most beat up hair that you guys flame me for all the time if you've seen them now when you look at them from this way they don't look that bad right they don't look god awful terrible but this is the air jordan 11 7210 i think it's a very underrated jordan because of the tumbled leather of the upper that they used it's kind of got a glittery finish on the patent leather i understand people don't like that some people also don't like the fact that it's a low cut patent leather they did have this red jump man applique and then the back it's 23 but it's it's still a regular applique but i don't know why it just stayed on more than some of the other 23s tend to stay on 11s um the carbon fiber was actually red and black right here and then we know what the bottom sole looks like these are perfect so just beat the heck up and I may or may not have done that, okay? And everybody's like, why don't you just get another pair? Are you people funding this other pair? No, <laughs> so leave me alone. But I do love this shoe. It's a, it, it's a go-to shoe, especially in the fall and winter. Just, you know, wipe the dirt off and keep it moving. So here's the Air Jordan 11 7210. Moving on to some that feel, you know, this is a very, you know, hard to come by <laughs> Jordan 11. Uh, we do have the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray. I was finally able to acquire these last year. I tried once last year, and actually when I got the pair, it had a, uh, had a hole in it, guys. So now the one thing I will say about this, they really don't care about gray school because there are some things that can be just ridiculously inconsistent, but it is what it is. The beauty of it, though, I will say with these, you know what, that, uh, that 23 in the back is still looking decent. That's probably because I don't really wear these a lot. I want to get them messed up, guys, but... We got the white laces in there, and then it is just, you know, that new buck that's on the top. So very, very clean condition, as we know, on top, in the inside of every 11. We have the tag, quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever, Michael Jordan. <laughs> cool gray 11, uh, what can you say? It really is just that cool. It goes with everything gray, and doesn't matter what other color it may be. And I have a lot of gray hoodies in my collection. Don't judge me. But here we have it, the Air Jordan 11. Cool, great. Moving on up. Time to jam, people. Time to jam. Now, this is the beat up pair, and it is the Air Jordan 11 Space Jam from 2016. I call it the beat up pair because it's got the 45 on the back. We know that's not as coveted as the 2009 pair that has the uh, 23 on the back. So, yeah, these just get taken to town a little bit more than that other pair. But why the fact, why is this stitched on and the other ones aren't stitched on? Like, this would last longer 
but it's stitched and we know that it is now it's always weird of what they call th this like that's considered the concord color whatever but <laughs> we know exactly what the space jam looks like okay it's got the black patent leather the black upper with the mesh i mean you can't you can you can beat this pair up too <sighs> do i wear these enough no i'm a bad sneaker person okay i don't wear them enough i need to wear a lot of shoes enough which is probably why it's a good thing in october that i'm trying to break into wearing more shoes versus just buying shoes but one very coveted pair still even if it has 45 on the back the air jordan love is face jam 2016. let's move on to the pair that everybody loves and adores and is you know could be a grail for some people and that is the air jordan 11 space jam 2009 looks exactly like that pair there except you know there's a 23 on the back now i did do a lace swap in these a while back when i got them so the lace tips um that um they are royal blue on the end and black and i i don't know why just that look that little bit i felt needed to be done to the shoe the stuff we do i swear but <laughs> this pair it's more clean now it does have some marks like on the midsole right there but outside of that it is a very very clean pair so happy about that that's probably why they don't you know they, i mean they don't get worn look at that 23 like take a pff, pff, look at that <laughs> take good care of these babies they stay in the box well no they stay in a container i'm i'm not if they stay in a container all right moving on because clearly i need to go take sit my butt down real quick but here we have the air jordan one concord 11 which some will say is the greatest 11 of all time and then some are saying that of course the bread 11 coming out is the greatest of all time who knows this has the 23 on the back the light is doing this a lot of justice because i feel like this is yellowing somewhat but it's making it look like it's not so we just gonna roll with that that it's making it look like it's not yellowing at all so we have the 23 on the back we know this is the 2011 pair that came out so this is a pair that i choose to rock now i still have not actually on dead stock the pair that's back there but this is a i mean i like to think of this as the tuxedo of sneakers it, it's it's that it gives off that appeal to me i like to think of it as the tuxedo of slippers i mean people get married in these all the time why wouldn't you want to but here we go babe i stopped myself <laughs> oh goodness i really need to stop all right and finally final pair of 11s that i have whoa what are you doing tj <laughs> We have the 2018 Air Jordan 11 Concord, and yep, these are still pretty much factory lace. I have not taken them out to do anything besides, I think I did it on foot. That's, did I, I don't even know if I did it on foot. Maybe I just did pictures in these. Uh, who knows what I did? I mean, it's, no, I think this is, no, these are pretty much still factory lace, y'all. I didn't do a thing with these. I didn't do a thing with these. I don't think I took them out to really show you guys during the recap video that I did when I worked it. I just know I was tired and I made quite a bit an hour working that release so your girl was happy but I was ready to sit down and do absolutely nothing after that. But it's just like the 2011 pair except it has a 45 on the back. Milky blue sole versus that one just having the regular uh, sole but you know. <sighs> I didn't even notice like with the leather. They tried to do a little something with this leather to make it a little bit. You can't see. Let me stop. <laughs> they tried to do a little something with this leather. Oh, we got a little dust on there. Whew. That's what happens, I guess, when you stay in the box. But that's exactly where you're staying, in the box. We see the bottom. They, they haven't been worn, guys. <laughs> now, yes, of course, December 14th, we know that the Air Jordan 11 bread, or playoff, is coming out. It is a shoe that I will get. I really thought that I was going to double up on them, and now it's just kind of up in the air. If I will or if I won't, we'll see. I'm just always thinking to myself now that 170 plus tax or one yeah 170 plus tax wow can probably be spent better so i don't quite know if i'm going to double up on those or not it's still up in the air will i work that release you are darn straight i will i'll bring you the recap all the news that day but thanks so much for tuning in to this video of my air jordan 11 collection i appreciate it peace